Good morning. Welcome to prayers that light our path this morning. Miss Irma told me last night that the women's disciple group was fixing to start a new series of, of um, discipleship and they're going to be learning a different Bible verse. I believe it's every week or maybe it's two a week from a book called uh, 100 Bible Verses That Everyone Should Know. And as I got to thinking about that, thinking about the Bible, thinking about all the words that are contained in that wonderful book that God has given us, it brought to mind a scripture that I really haven't thought of in a long time, but I'm so grateful that it, it was brought to my memory last night. And it comes from 2 Timothy 3.16. And that verse says, All scripture is given by inspiration of God. It is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. What a wonderful description of the scriptures that are contained in that book that we call the Holy Bible. <clears throat> it gives to us the direction for our life. If we ever have a problem, if we ever have a need, if we ever have something that's just eating at us, I bet you that you can find the answer to that problem in the pages of that holy book. Read your Bible. Learn the verses. Use the Bible as a means of telling other people about Jesus Christ. You'll never, ever spend better time than reading the words between those covers. Let me encourage you to do so. Go with me this morning to the Lord in prayer. Father, your word was given to us thousands of years ago in a different time and to a different people, yet it still remains as useful to us today as it has ever been. When you gave the word to us written through inspiration, you gave us a book that would stand forever because it deals with the human heart, not a specific time or a specific place. You meant the word to be eternally useful to all nations, to all languages, to all civilizations. I admit there are some parts of the Bible that still baffle me. My understanding, Father, of the Bible is weak on many days. But when I'm in need of guidance, the first place that I turn to is the Bible. Any answer I need is there if I just search for it. Father, thank you for giving us this book of instruction, this book of hope, this book to help us through our daily troubles in life. Father, we thank you. And in your name this morning we pray. Amen. My friends, take that book with you. Open that book frequently. Read that book daily. And you will find the answers to the majority of the issues that face us today. In that book, you will find hope. You will find joy from the words that Jesus gave the inspiration to write. Always remember that God loves you. God wants you to be his obedient children. I love you, and the people of the United Methodist Church love you. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.